And welcome back to the last that we'll be seeing of, uh, you know, no, actually that's spoilers anyways. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. We are in Q's Marsh, like I said we were going to be going to. In the last episode, uh, what we want to do here is... Oh my god, it's Quinna! And, he's, and all the frogs are here! Oh my god, I'm so glad Quinna's okay. Quinna, you're safe! Long time no sees it, ain't? Much trouble coming back from Clara alone. Do you know a way out to the other continent? I heard there was an entrance somewhere around here. Outer continent. Maybe I find more delicious frogs. Sound interesting. I help you. I eat more frogs. I come with you. <laughs> Alright. So, um, yeah, so Quinn is okay, thank god. Um, I'm actually gonna catch some frogs here, so hang on. You old bitch. Oh, it's Quan, or Quail, I mean. You working hard, Quinna. Yeah, I guess I'll show this because it's just giving us a new item for getting frogs. It's gonna be a oh, silk robe. Oh, that's good. Didn't we just uh, synthesize one of those? And we needed another one anyway, so that's good. Thank you, Master Quail. I train more. Okay, back to frogs. Oh, you little fucker. Earthquake every time Quinna takes a step. There we go. Alright, so we're done for now. Let us press on. Press onwards. One thing I should have mentioned, um, like in the last episode I was saying, or was it the last one, or maybe the one before, um, the MP attack ability that Zidane has, I didn't mention what that was even though I said I was going to. I have a bad habit of doing stuff like that. Um, what it does is, uh, this way, you use your own MP to raise your attack power, which is good for someone like Zidane who doesn't really use MP a whole lot. Oh shit. It's a nice day outside though. Like, it's not, it's kind of sunny, it's not really, okay, hang on. So, Quinn, where are you going? I, I smell! I smell frogs! No, we have to look for the entrance to the outer continent. I smell frog this way! Hey, Quinn, hold on! <sighs> Darn it. Oh, Quincy. Oh, where the hell are we? Aha! Frogs! That one's just sitting there like, I don't give a shit. Take me, I don't care. <laughs> oh, you know, I have a new lease on life! Hold! I love that when he just says hold. They run away again. Aww. Uh -huh. Wait a minute, Quinna. Check it out. This entrance. This must be the entrance to the excavation site. Oh? First time I see this. Are those frogs with wings? Those gargoyles? Is it Ane? We going inside? Of course we will. It might lead to the other continent. Let's go. Yeah, that's a good place to hide had an entrance to a new world in a place where nobody would really want to go. No one would really want to go to Q's Marsh, right? But it's so cool here below this area. There's a an axe there, which, uh, yeah, we'll see more of those. Fossil Roo. Just like Gargan Roo, but uh, a little different this time around. It's like a weird prison. Uh, anyway, oh, there's a gate here? Hmm. Huh? Is there something inside? It's too dark to see. Man, I can't really hear it. But, uh... There we go. This music's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, anyways. Oh, that's creepy. Hopefully we don't ever have to see that thing again. Oh, what the... What the fuck? Holy shit! What the fuck is that thing? You gotta be kidding me! Sweet merciful Batman! Okay, you gotta watch out for these pendulums! Because, uh... They're not gonna hurt you or anything, but they will make you bounce back, and if you get bounced back and that thing runs into you, uh, you have to battle it. And there's not really any way to actually beat it, so just keep running. It seems like this pathway never ends. Oh shit, shit. Okay, here, we're good, we're good. Yeah, so that thing is called Armudalo... Armo... Armudalahan, I think is how it's pronounced, or... I can't really remember. Yikes! Ah. Oh, sorry, V. You okay? Uh, yeah. Look out! Down my way! Ah. That was a close call. Jeez, that didn't do much good. I wonder who that could be. Oh wait, it was Lanny. The subtitle said so. Who's there? I've been looking for you, Princess Garnet. Uh, hey, have we met? <laughs> Quit flirting with her. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I'm Lanny. I'm under order by the queen to find you, princess. My mother? What does my mother want with me? 
I'm not returning to Alexandria. I've got bad news for you, princess. It's not you I'm after. What do you mean? The pendant. Does that sound familiar? <coughs> Let's have it back. It belongs to Queen Ron. Mm, no. Listen carefully, princess. You escaped unscathed from the monster, but you're not going to be so lucky with me. Hand over the pendant right this minute. You're pretty sure of yourself, aren't you? Are you the one who set that monster loose? Retrieving the pendant far outweighs the safety of the princess. What do you mean by that? I meant exactly what I said. My orders don't include Princess Garnet's safe return. What? My mother would never order that. That's enough! Give me the pendant. You're trying my patience. <laughs> what if we refuse? Stubborn fools. Have it your way. Oh. Time to kick some ass. Kick some lass. I wonder how old Lanny is. I bet she's like 24. Huge ass axe, too. Huge axe! Give me the pendant and surrender! Ha, you missed. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure what I'm gonna do is slow down. There is also something you can steal from her really nice, uh, a Gladius. For, it's a weapon for today. And we'll show off Remove for the first time, because I've been really wanting to show that off, but I get into like, pointless battles that I haven't been doing on screen, so. Uh, it's nice to actually have that. It's nice to be able to use it now, because it's so awesome. Anyways, uh, crap, where's Mighty Guard? Where's Mighty Guard? Where the fuck is it? I have it, don't I? There it is. So hopefully nothing happens to it. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna close the window so you can see this. There he is. Controller is vibrating a mile a minute. Oh yes, that's fucking awesome. Um Yeah, fucking love remove. It's cool. It's kind of I like the way I like the the way the uh, path they took in Final Fantasy X with uh, uh, Ixion instead instead of um, Remo, which makes more sense in that game. Oh fuck! I knew oh. fuck, I was really hoping that wouldn't happen either because that, that's the whole reason I wanted to use Mighty Guard was to protect Dagger, and I can't use it again unless I used a what's it called? I'm not gonna get the Gladius. I know it because she's probably already dead. Ha! You missed. I like Quinn's little miss thing. Can I use that on Dagger quick? You know, I might just like sit here and st if I don't kill him, or her I mean. Well, the feeder I guess, I'm not really game. Just never mind. If I don't, uh, I might just like cut out some of the battles just so I can steal. I don't really want to like cut out a uh, boss battle or that's a thing. And holy shit, piss off with your... Cause yeah, that's the thing, she'll attack Dagger a lot. She'll also use Scan a lot, which I'm not really sure why. But, I don't know, she likes using Scan for whatever reason. She's still slow, right? So, let's just focus with... with the Viv. Oh, and our Mighty Shell, our Mighty Guard's gone away. Yeah, she hates Dagger. I don't know, like, I don't understand why she would go for her first. Like, I know she wants the Pendant and all that, but it's like, well... Wouldn't you rather get rid of the people who are going to kick your ass first? You know, like Zidane and Quinn will probably eat you. Oh, there we go, we got the Gladius, nice. Finally. Actually, it didn't take that long, I'm not even going to have to cut any of that out. Now we can just kick, it, kick her ass, so... Fuck. Fuck. She's just going to keep going for Dagger no matter what. Fool, this is how you use Fyra! May we never forget that guy. Hopefully Quinn, I can get any good critical or something on her. Cause yeah, like I was saying before, Quinn's damage is just so sporadic and go from like really low to fuck you. Shit, it's gonna. Okay, no, we're, we're good. What do you think you're doing? Man, you fuck! I should have put on protect girls. God damn, why didn't I put that on? Yeah, she now she's gonna scan, and I can't use high potion. Are you scanning Quinn? Oh yeah, level 15. Um, not in this battle, but um, the thing that we're running from, if we ran into it, it can use level 5 death, which is something you want to be aware of. 
Thankfully, all my characters are not in, multi in levels multiple of five, which, in case you don't know, level five death. Um, well, if you're a long time Final Fantasy fan, you do know. And you might be able to tell just by the name of it. <laughs> I missed again, bitch. But, um, yeah, it just ca it casts death on anyone who has a level multiple of five. Which is actually a very nice technique, which I was talking about uh, quite a few episodes ago for Quinna that he can learn. So, are you done yet? I mean, come on. There we go. Why aren't you giving up? Okay, no, she's not done yet. <sighs> Fucker. See, I want to use Shell and Protect, but I won't have time because I'm going to use Shell and then she's going to physically attack Dagger and just going to be all shit. We're up to 15 minutes? Well, there's like three or three minutes I have to cut out, but... Yeah, once we get up to the first Moogle in here, um, it's probably going to be it for this one, which is kind of sucks because, I mean, all we did was battle in this video. Fucking... Yeah, see, there's Quinn's low attack, and he had like 700 earlier. But this is why I wanted to keep on Man Eater for Zidane. Just because it does le more lethal damage to humans. Come on, are you done yet? I mean, come on. Piss off with this shit, man. But I wouldn't give her wall right now. Oh, good. I had Shadow already. I don't have half my health still. Why am I using high potions on dagger? See, 32, look at that. That would really suck. But that's the that's what you get with uh, Quinna. You never know what you're gonna get. There, finally. You're pretty good. And you needed a bigger shirt. What a drag. I'll let you guys go for now. Your whole mission was to retrieve the pendant. I don't know why you think you're doing us a favor by letting us go. It's because you're scared. What the hell? Ooh, it's a Gargant! Our Gargant friend! This one's blue, though. It's a Goliath Beetle Gargant. An untamed Gargant, huh? Maybe I can ride it. And we got the Gargant. Or, oh, well, I guess we have to show this one because it's a new enemy! Probably gonna be a abomination or griffin. Or what else is in here? Seeker bat or feather circle. Oh there it is, feather circle, which we can learn a blue magic from. So I'm gonna scan it because I wanna know how much health it has. So come on, Dagger. Don't have all day. Oh no, it tailed me. Oh no, it's tails. The tails doll. There's this tails. Um stuff. Tails at uh, Toys R Us that I really want to get. Hopefully, it doesn't kill it. It's like a big Tails thing, too. It's like $25, so it's a lot of money. Instead, it's weak to thunder, so we'll use fire. Oh no, Trouble Tail! You made, you made him cry. Okay, we can try and eat that one. It may not work, we'll see. <laughs> Their faces are so funny. <laughs> oh, yeah, speaking of Toys R Us, I want to go there today before I go to work because I. Uh, a new set of Pokemon cards came out, um, Ancient Origins, I believe it's called, and I want to get the new packs. I don't know if they're going to have it, because they did just come out today, and here, you know, we kind of get things late, or never, because that's what it's like living in Canada. So who has lower attack? Hopefully it's... Man, I wouldn't, what I wouldn't give for uh, Demi right about now. I don't have Demi, do I? I don't think so. So I just want to eat this thing. I'm hungry, Quinn is getting low. She needs some food. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna switch back and forth between calling Quinna a he and a she. I usually call it a he, but they're level four holy, so just like the principle with level five death, level four holy uses holy on any targets that have a multiple of level four. Or level multiple of four. So oh nice, BB learned Somniac. And we got a Mandragora card, so let's press onward. Yeah, but the last episode. When I was recording it, it was up to like, uh, 15, or no, it was up to like, I think I stopped the recording at 29 minutes and 59 seconds, so 30 minutes, half an hour, but it turned out to be like a 14 minute video, which is cool, because there was a lot of, like, exploration, or like, walking around and random battles I had to cut out, so that was good. I was thinking it was going to be up maybe even 20, but I, I can't believe I managed to cut it down by 50%. 
And we got the dump taking music because that's what um, I remember seeing a comment somewhere. Oh fuck! Please be feather circles. Thank goodness that was a uh, feather circle, so we can cut it out. But yeah, I remember reading a comment or something saying this music reminds someone of taking dump. Oh come on! Jeez, you can't read. And this little session's terrible. But thankfully, again, that believe it or not, that was another group of feather circles. But we should, we'll be safe here for now. Um, I'll talk to that guy later on the next one because we're running out of time. So, Stiltskin's here though. That was some trouble I ran into with Clara. I was hurt so bad I couldn't even move. Now that I've recovered, I'm back on track. Hey, you want to buy a set of Phoenix Pinion, Remedy, and Ether for 555 gil? Hell yeah, I do. Anything to help out a, a little business like yours. Thanks to you, I can continue my journey. What the heck is this place? It's like a maze. What the heck is this place? It's like a maze. So, uh, oh, Magnet. And we have a letter from Monkey, don't we? No? Please tell me he has something to give us. Oh, okay. You got a letter from Kuppo. Okay. I don't even know who Kuppo is, Kuppo. Let's read it together. I hope. Kuppo to Monkey. I'm bored, Kuppo. I'm so bored, I'm gonna hide away. Try finding me inside this cavern. Hint, I'm behind a wall. What a carefree Muko, Kuppo. I fled from Limbo with my life. So that's kind of interesting. He's hiding behind, hiding behind a wall. Where was this guy? He was. Oh yeah, Limbo. He just said that. Duh. So Mog Shop. What do you got? Oh, he just got items. So. Yeah, that Moogle just has items. So um, I'm gonna tent up. I'm gonna pitch a tent. And... Yeah, I know. Pitch a tent. I know. Oh, that guy came in with us. That. Um, that miner. He he came in the tent with us. I guess. So, uh, I'll see you guys next time. See ya!